how to work with shapes. Let's say you are uh, using or making a diagram. Uh, you can use uh, shapes to illustrate your diagram. In Microsoft Excel, you can also do that under once your Microsoft of uh, Microsoft Excel is open, go to insert and under insert, you can find the shapes and there's a arrow down. That means there's a more option once you click it. So in the option, you can uh, recently use shapes. It's the common shapes that you can use. Rectangles also. Basic shapes, triangles, circle and other black arrow black arrows different kind of arrows let's say pointing for or equation shapes also have flow chart let's say you're making a diagram you can use this shape so also stars and banners call outs say you want to add call outs let's say we are going to make a flow chart in order to take a shape from this uh, a portion you can click on it then once you click on it, the cursor changes into a point uh, across. Then you can uh, click and drag to scale the shape. Because I selected uh, this shape, then then once you click and drag, then drop this. Then it will and it will go to the set settings or the format of this uh, shape. It's either you want to color it into black or or the text should change into these colors let's say I want to make it orange and you can also write uh, text inside of the of the of the shapes let's say let's say since we are going to make a flow chart we're going to say let's say this process a and you can you can you can move this also you can rotate this also on a pos which position you want to just cont press control z to return it back you can send you can center the text inside of it by selecting it and clicking this area and you can center it also you can change the the fill color or the color of the text let me change it to black change the black let's say like that so there's a lot of option you can add with this let's say we are going to another shape under page lay uh, under insert shapes let's say we're going to use an arrow I'm going to use this arrow I guess I, you can transform it by clicking it clicking it and dragging it to down so it's depend on the shapes that you want to have say after process say search shapes uh, it will ask an input say this one I think the, then you can choose colors say colors and input A and control A to highlight the text inside of it and you can format it so you can go to home and center it using this tool. So that's how you create shapes. Uh, you can get creative in, uh, on what you want to make a shape. Combinations of shapes on this uh, part. Let's say I want to point it to another. Let's use this. To another shape. Shape. Let's say, well, let's use this info, let's say, either option. So that's, uh, let's add more. 
insert shapes so like that also once you have the shape there if you want to instead of just uh, taking from this part or uh, shapes uh, portion panel you can just click this uh, select this shape then Control c to copy it and Control v to paste it so no need to go there anymore just paste it on uh, in, in this uh, area so let's select this so that's how you that's how you create the shapes i hope this helps you and thank you for watching